morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 26. I told y'all I was not gonna be done. So today we are up. It is gorgeous outside. The sun is up. The sky is clear. It just feels really good. Uh, me and Mary are both up. We're gonna cook breakfast for us. So to, this morning we're, ha we're gonna have kimchi soup. Mary's made kimchi fried rice. We're also gonna have noodles. Uh, patty. We, we got two patties. Some for some meat. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have that and we're also going to listen to listen to some music and listen to some music on my new recorder. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do for this today's morning, and then we'll talk more about what we're gonna plan on doing today. It is the 26th, it's after Christmas. Um, so we're just gonna still be chill. It is a Saturday, and yeah. It's a Friday. No, it's not. It's not. It's Saturday. What? Yeah. Right, so, so far, I have some. I have some pork left over that I need to cook. So, it's boiling with some Napa cabbage with some salt and ginger. I'm going to add some gener a generous amount of kimchi. I'm trying to avoid the one I just cut from Mary because she's making her kimchi and she's going to need a smaller cut of kimchi. It doesn't really matter what I use. The hope is to use almost all of this because it's not, I don't know how good it's going to be. But what's also really amazing is that because it's been fermented for a while, it has a lot of liquid, which will go excellent with the soup and the fried rice. Okay, so now that that's in, I'm just going to mix it all in. It is going to give us the nice red color. But to add a little bit more, we're going to just throw in Korean flakes, generous amount. Don't worry, it's not gonna be too salt, not too spicy because we're gonna add in some sugar in here to make sure that it's not salty. To do that, I'm gonna use two monk fruit sweetener, granulated. Just gonna pour that in, mix that in there. And I'm also gonna use some spam too for this. We just wanna make sure that the pork is cooked. That's the priority. So right now, pork is still cooking. Um, we're not gonna add in the other ingredients that the other stuff we're gonna add in will be we're gonna add some duck and we're also gonna add some tofu in some shrimp also and spam and yeah so but we don't want to add that in yet because we want to make sure that the pork is cooked first because mm -hmm. everything everything is gonna cook fairly quick all right look at the soup this is ready they have some noodles in here some spam tofu onions egg and kimchi it looks so yummy so delicious and this is mary's kimchi fried rice all right so we just finished breakfast uh, i finished cleaning up and i also throw on some lipstick i'm gonna be doing a makeup makeup not my makeup challenge uh after i'm done because after mary's done so she has her makeup all set up for her I'm going to be taking her makeup, and I'm going to put makeup on me, minus the lip. Whatever she has there, I'm going to use, because that's what she puts on her face. So uh, I'm going to put that on my face, and we're just going to see what happens. She has very different style. Yeah, she has very different style of makeup, um, stuff, also different tones that she likes. So it would be quite a challenge to see what I come up with. Probably not going to be that big of a difference. But I think it's also going to be really interesting. Um, I don't think she has a blush there, which is troublesome because I love blush. But we'll just see. Um, yeah, and then we're also watching Stephanie Sue again. She's a YouTuber. Mukbang. Watch, you know, she watch, talks about horror, thriller, true crime. So we're watching that too. I'm going to probably do some reading, editing, and just relax. It is a gorgeous day, like I told y'all. It is sunny. So gorgeous. But we're just going to relax at home because... Why not? It's like the first week of uh, winter break is already over and then my heart is already <laughs> breaking a little bit, but it's okay. I have another week left and I'm going to make the most out of it. So that's basically what's going to happen today. I also want to show y'all our tree. This is what it looks like when the sun is out. It looks really nice still. Um, no presents anymore. A bunch of stuff I need to throw out. And this is what we're watching. Stephanie, she's eating Korean corn dog and tons of Korean noodles. Okay, so this is the palette that Mary is using. A little while, it's a brand new palette. I actually used this palette, I think, a few days ago. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do. Sun's going down. I have a mirror, so I'm just gonna do it. Oh,
Even though you were there so scared of me, what would it be? But if you have a small, small brush, give me a small brush. What the freak? Now go to that room. No, no. They run out of the concealer. Oh, this is Mary's concealer. This is very light. Oh my gosh, that is blush. Since I don't have a or curler, I'm hoping this is going to be with a curl. for my big base on my, my sister's um stuff here i actually think i did a really good job using utilizing all of these lips all this stuff it looks really nice hello okay so we're i'm having a late night snack pre-dinner pre um, yeah sorry i'm having a pre-dinner light snack <laughs> i'm having pizza look how yummy this is a supreme pizza um it's i will say a fairly honestly like a small pizza um the slices are really tiny so i'm having this before we eat dinner dinner we have um chicken feet that we're gonna use to brace um chick braised pork chicken sauce with that's korean sauce so we're gonna have that with some eggs and leftover kimchi soup from earlier so we're having it for dinner it does need to boil so the chicken feet have been boiling for about 30 minutes I say right now so it needs to boil for at least an hour and 30 I will say just to make sure at least you know until it's really really soft and off the bone that's what you really want for chicken uh, I'm also having this with my tea from this morning Mary let me know that I did not finish my tea I totally neglected it during breakfast I set it down on the table and I forgot about it so I'm actually going to eat it again or finish drinking it I did heat up more Hot water because I'm gonna have more tea later on. Um, I my stomach's a little hurting a little bit, so I think having some tea or just something warm would be really good for my um, digestive system. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be eating this pizza. We're also watching a mukbanger eat her food, and she's about to be done. So this is the pizza. This is how small it is. It's like literally at the palm of my fingers. It has olives, green pepper. Um, I think onion, pepperoni, and sausage with cheese. So yummy. I was going to put some monk fruit sugar on it, but I was like, nah. And then I was going to put some corn on it, but I was like, nah. And was, yeah, but I'm not going to. Mm. It's really good.
else? What's going on? I have this thing where I had to just grab sausages off the other pizza and eat it. <laughs> do you do that too? I have a guilty pleasure doing that. I'll pretend that. Oh, it fell off. <laughs> I'm gonna stop eating now because I want to make sure that I still have some room for dinner. It was really good. I know, I'm not eating those three. Crush. All right, everyone. So this is the food. This is the braised. Um, chicken feet with an egg and then I'm also cooking intestines right here I'm about to wake up, take off my makeup because I'm gonna take a shower later on today and every time I want to take a shower I always have to take makeup off first because then I realize I have makeup on and then I have to do that before I take a shower so I hate doing that so I'm gonna do that right now before we have dinner I'm gonna take my makeup off I think I liked my makeup today it was really nice and chill All right, so we're finally gonna eat now. This is the food. The intestines have been all cooked and deep fried or just like stir fried, it's really crispy. The food here is finally out. This is what it looks like. Basically you have the bone in there and you just have to chew it, take the bone out. So it's a very, it's a very bony dish. Hello everyone. Okay, so we're actually gonna do our uh, favorites of 2020. That's today's Vlogmas activity. So Mary is next to me. We're gonna be recording. I made a list of um, some things that I thought would be good to talk about. Again, it's not an exhaustive list, but definitely something to start off. Um, so we're gonna kind of go through. I have some things here I'm gonna show, but most of the things I'm probably one of the things I'm gonna show you, and then some of the things I'm just gonna put a picture up right here. Um, but. You'll know when those are coming up. Okay, so Mary's gonna read off the list and we're just gonna go back and forth and, and talk about why they're, they're our favorites. Um, yeah, and hopefully this will be helpful for me to kind of remember the things that I really liked this year and also just a nice recap of the year for me. All right, so the first category is favorite clothing and I could go first. So my favorite thing to wear or thing to wear this year was without a doubt, my hoodie i especially this one i lived in this hoodie for um for most of quarantine but also just something that i love more when i got it it is a bt21 hoodie it's pr pink <laughs> it's lilac a purple shirt and it has the front is like the bt21 members on the side it has like hearts um i think on the other side it might have them nope yeah it has well it just has um this thing on there um, planet thing but anyway it's super comfortable and I love wearing this out it's long not so long but it's definitely something that I love wearing it's super comfortable so this is my favorite thing to wear up this year 2020 all right so the next um, category under that is favorite outfit of 2020 and I want to say it is this picture right here so I uh, am wearing this like silk pink tank top with uh, a black long blazer that I bought 
I forgot where, but I think it was uh, Burlington or Raw. I think it was probably Burlington, but it's like a long black blazer and it has um, just like, you know, je jeans. I also tucked in the t uh, tank top and put a belt on and I just felt so beautiful because that was also the time period where I was obsessed with blazer. Like Mary was wearing blazers all the time and I don't know why, I just I always still want to wear blazers because of BTS, but also I, mean, I just came back from like Korea. So I was just very like into that fashion. The next category is favorite palette. Um, so this is the makeup category. This is my favorite makeup palette of 2020. Um, I need to throw it away because it is um, actually expired, but I was obsessed with this palette all throughout this year. Like I remember wearing it all the time. And the thing about me is that like I love neutral. So this is like a nice neutral brown gray. It's just so lovely. It has a nice mixture of like shimmer with like matte. Um, that it, I just really love it and it was like a perfect brown, of sh shades of brown, but also like sometimes if I want something a little bit lighter brown, like that was the you know, color that I would use. And I'm also someone who once I use a palette, um, I like having a palette like in my makeup bag and just constantly use that all the time. So this was a palette that every day, like I always grab it. Um, and then, you know, of course with quarantine, I didn't really use a lot of makeup anymore, but I started getting back to using a lot of makeup now. And so this palette has just been super awesome and it has a freaking mirror. So it's like, it's just so handy. I love it all the time, but yeah, I do need to throw it away because it is, um, I, I have it for a while now and I think it's getting to the point where, I don't know, like, is it, do I, can I ever like stop using it or do you know? Well, if an eyeshadow expires and you use it, there's, like the chance you will get bacteria in your eye yeah so anyway there's that it's scary so i instead have found a new palette to start using that's a little bit similar to the colors here and i'm also i'm a huge fan of like things that are easy to carry and portable so this is like really small not really small it's like small and easy for me to carry other ones are a little bit bigger um but anyway this is my favorite palette of this year this is a nightingale pretty vulgar which honestly i need to check out pretty vulgar Okay, the next category is favorite lipstick, and this is my all. This is my 2020 favorite lipstick. It is the Revlon Forever, yeah, Forever Matte Shade. Um, this one was something that I, I, honestly, it's like I will just pull up and use it really easily. Um, it's matte, but also it gives us like I don't know. It's not super super matte. Um, but I love using it a lot. It's like light. It's like a brown color. Um, I'll this is the color of it. So it's a little bit. Yeah, it's like a pink brown. Um, and I love it because it's a super chill color that sometimes it doesn't look like you have something on, but then you do have it on. And especially when I'm doing like Zoom meetings, I don't want to look super like well, like well makeup. And this is just a perfect, um, perfect way to do that. So, and all this smells really good as well. I do feel like I need to get a new one because I've had this for a while now and I just because of this year I end up pulling it out again. Uh, but it's a really nice brown pink color that I love a lot. And it matches with a lot of makeup looks that I'm going for, super intense uh, shadow or light shadow. This is like a go-to. All right, so the next category is favorite eyeliner. And this is my favorite eyeliner. This is the NYX professional makeup retractable eyeliner it has to be retractable because it's just so easy to use it's a nice brown color i've noticed that um with eyeliner i used to wear black all the time and now like for the past several years i've been using brown because it's just lighter on the eyes and it doesn't look so intense so this one is my favorite it's not shimmery brown it's like I mean, there is a little bit of like a shimmer to it, but most of it is just brown. Um, and it's super easy, it's lightweight, and I love that it's also waterproof so that I uh, always feel really secure if I want to cry or whatnot, like it's always there. Um, so this is my favorite eyeliner is this um, brown one. All right, the so next question is favorite um, look. And my favorite look would be right here. I, the reason why I like it so much is that it's really just, it's natural, it's smoky eye with like a, a bright lipstick. This is not so bright, it's kind of like a, like a pinkish color, um, because sometimes instead of using like the brown, I'll go with like a nice pink, and so that look is just really, really nice. I also love that my hair was really down, um, and it was just kind of flowing everywhere, my outfit was really cute. I just felt really like nice and, and relaxed, and so this overall look just 
I, I think I really really like it. Right, the next category is favorite um, app, and my favorite app of this year would be uh, it would be definitely be Twitter. I am on Twitter like twenty four hours seven days a week. Um, it could be a very toxic place, but also I do like it. It's like every the first thing I wake up in the morning, I'm on Twitter. The first the last thing I do when I go to sleep is I'm on Twitter. Um, literally any moment of the time I'm on Twitter just to be updated on BTS and also like whenever I'm trying to look up something like if there was stuff that was happening on like uh, the media or COVID or whatever like I'll just go on Twitter and things will be trending and I'll just look up uh, hashtags and I'll get like up-to-date information on Twitter so it really is like my go-to source I use it so often that I literally drop most of my social media accounts uh, and definitely heavily use Twitter a lot more and like the platform is just a little bit more different like the people I follow and everything so it's a, it's a little bit more I would say um, it's a little bit less personal of my, my own personal life and more into like another another person who I am, another version of me. So that's um, an app that I really love using, so Twitter. All right, so the next category is Korean, all things Korean. The first um, question is favorite song. I'll explore more about this in my favorite 20 songs of 2020 next week. It's so bizarre to say that, right? So my favorite Korean song of this year would have to be BTS's Black Swan. It is my all-time favorite song of 2020, and it is absolutely an amazing production. Um, they do such a great job at seeing it. And I remember when it first came out. I'll talk more about it, but it's just it was so bizarre because I remember it was trending on Twitter, and I'm like, that's not right. Like, you know, BTS does not have a song of Black Swan. You know, why would they have a song of Black Swan? And I just remember this whole thing about it. And it turns out it was true. Some people leaked it and they were having a song called Black Swan. And it's really a good song. And it took me a while, not a while, but it took me like one or two listens to actually fully like it. Um, but yeah, it's such a great song. Great composition, great production, great vocals, great choreography, great visuals. It's a day box song. All right, the next category is favorite drama. And I watched, honestly, I did watch quite a few dramas this year. Um, and my favorite one would have to be The King Eternal Monarch right here. <laughs> it's such a good drama. I have never been so invested in a drama this year, aside from this drama. Um, there's been a lot, I like, whenever, when I watch a drama and I get really, like, invested, very, you know, just, like, waiting for it every week, connected to the characters, the OST, everything around the whole entire drama, that's how I know that I'm really invested in the drama. Definitely a drama that I have watched repeatedly. Like I This is also one of the first dramas where in, in waiting for the next episode to um, be released, I watched like the, uh, the drama from like beginning and again repeatedly. Like I remember like I think episode 11 was like gonna come out um, and I watched like episode 1 to 10 like every single day just repeatedly because i was waiting for it and so yeah it's just been a really good drama and um i really like it and yeah i invested a lot of time with the drama on tumblr <laughs> i created so much gifts yeah so definitely a fair drama this year okay so a korean movie is the next category and i would say i don't watch a lot of the next question um i will say the call was pretty awesome like it was scary and like thriller but i was just blown away i walked into the movie not having a lot of expectation because i knew it was scary i knew that it was kind of a thriller but i didn't really 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 care much about it but i was just blown away with the story and some of the twists and turns and I was just invested in a way that I was not expecting to. Um, so yeah, the call would be, I highly recommend, I highly recommend the drum, the movie and people should watch it because um, it was a trippy movie. So it was actually, yeah, a really great movie and a pleasant surprise. All right, so the next um, question is Korean fashion and I don't, I didn't really tap into it. Well, this year I try, I, this year I think most of my fashion came from, um, 
like blazers tucking in my shirt but i would say that fashion i want to get into for 2021 that i've always wanted to try is baggy clothes like <laughs> i really want to get into baggy jeans or just like jeans that are like flared out <laughs> and like really um or like baggy shirts i don't know i just i'm really into that and when i see people wearing those kind of fashion again like their body shape and form are a little different than mine's but when i see them wearing it i'm like that's such a Korean fashion look. All right, the next question is uh, favorite Korean channel on YouTube. And this is a little bit tricky. I have two people that come to mind that they're pretty like neck to neck. The first one would be Beautify Me TV. Um, she, Angel is the runner of that channel and she's a Korean, um, She's a Korean woman who lives in Korea with her family, her Doma family, um, and her very handy dandy husband. And she does like um, life, makeup, daily vlogs. So I really love watching her vlogs and I watch them whenever they come out, I watch them. Um, so I love her channel. And the other channel that's like really neck to neck would be um, like Friendly Neighbor. It's he runs a channel with his girlfriend and he's also Korean, but he cooks. So he is a... Uh, he makes food really interesting and the way that they he the way that he cooks is just very like I've never seen it before. Like he'll talk about measuring like I you know ingredients and he'll say like oh like you know the, the size of my forearm or size of your you know your thumb. Ah oh, this is funny. So yeah, he is really funny and so I love watching the food that he cooks because it's very simple and he's also a very funny entertaining person, so he makes the food even more entertaining to watch. <laughs> She likes straight kids. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so the next category is oh, next question is favorite um, or a band you like, Korean band you like that's not BTS. Um, the we also agree BTS is a whole other category. Uh, but anyway, um, I really got into NCT this year. Um, NCT, I know all the members' name. Um, <laughs> I. It's like almost to a point where NCT has somewhat become part of my routine every day. Like, I would either watch them or listen to them. People will recommend them. Like, everywhere it's showing up, like my Twitter, my Tumblr, my YouTube is recommending me NCT stuff now. You know, honestly, I'm really happy because they, um, yeah, definitely learning more about them. Just kind of learning about their journey has really made me sort of um, really just see other people's life journeys and kind of where they are and um, makes me really proud to kind of see their journey and where they are and especially like I'm starting to get more connected and emotionally invested in some of the members so um yeah I'm starting to kind of feel um connected to them now so the next question is asking is our bias record of this year right uh, this year I realized how much I love Jimin um and to the point where can't say they don't count. It's not this year. no but this year I really this year, I really feel like it's clear that Jimin is my bias and JK has moved down. That's that, that's something that, that that's that's clear for me this year. That's kind of yeah. That for that, it's been clear for me for that way. Um, and then in terms of other other group members, I will say that this year I was again Lucas is also a huge bias for me. Um, and also within um, so within like uh, NCT like. Lucas, I'm also really surprised that Jamin has moved up really high um, because, yeah, like I'm just so surprised. <laughs> okay, Jamin and Zhao I don't know what's going on, but those two are just so, like, I'm just so surprised how I'm like, kind of like, I watch, I look out for them or I'm kind of like watching them lately because just their personality, like, they just are so, like, interesting interestingly animated and eccentric characters or uh, personality wise that i am just really blown away so those are the two that those are the three uh that are really this year has really popped up for me all right so the next category is food and the first question is asking for favorite snacks i would say my favorite snack of 2020 would be the quest cookies those are so good they're so good and so yummy and 
they're probably one of the best cookies I've had that are keto. And so those are like a hidden gem. My favorite are definitely hands down the Snickerdoodles and then the ch dark chocolate one. They're so good. I was obsessed about eating them at the beginning of 2020. I literally had one every single time I went to work. I always make sure I have one. They're expensive, but they're also really, really good. And I have some right now in my bag, so I'm gonna eat it tomorrow. But yeah, the next question is favorite dish. I would say I am so in love with posam. The way we cook it, it's basically, you you have seen me cook this on my vlog. It's basically just boiled pork with Napa cabbage and kimchi and it is so delicious. I think because I learned how to cook it, I'm like mastering it now. Um, so yeah, posam is the way I cook posam. Not, I mean, I've tried posam in Korean restaurants and they're not hit or miss, but the way I cook posam, it is so good. My definitely a favorite dish of 2020. All right, the next question is asking about favorite drinks. This year, I would say I got really into sparkling ice. It is so good. There's so many flavors. I don't I don't have any right now. I need to get more. But I just I love the sparkling cider. Um I never used to like them, but then I don't know why all of a sudden I, I start liking them now. I will also say that very neck to neck with the sparkling ice would be my strawberry smoothie. Um I don't play around with that. I do a really good job with my smoothies, especially after getting a blender. Like I love making smoothies, I love trying them out. Um, you know, with either yogurt or, or coke, you know, um, yogurt or chia seeds or putting avocado. So strawberry milk, strawberry smoothie is one of my favorite drinks uh, of this year. All right, the next category is uh, quarantine. So the first question is asking about favorite hobbies. I would say watching YouTube videos, especially my van lifers, um, reading fanfics, and um laying down <laughs> like laying down and reading laying down and watching youtube videos those are those that has really been a hobby of mine of this of being of quarantine and it has helped has helped me uh cope with a lot of things all right the next question is asking about quarantine habit um and i think a habit of mine is going to the kitchen opening up the fridge and looking for something to eat <laughs> that's something that I just love to do uh, or try to go look at my cupboard or the cabinet just trying to find something to nibble on that has been a very unhealthy habit of mine but I find myself doing that all the time just you know coming straight from my room and going towards the kitchen and just looking for something to munch on all right, the next category is random. And the first question is asking my favorite hairstyle. My favorite hairstyle of 2020 would have to be um, off of this picture right here, something like that. Um, I've been having bangs for 2020, for most of most of 2020. So having bangs, having the hair be curled a little bit. I learned a new way this year on how to curl my hair this way. And so I've been doing it literally almost every single day. Um, Sometimes I won't do it, but I commonly do this. This is how I normally dress up my hair. In the past, I used to not like really dress up my hair, but I realized how big of a difference um, I look like and I feel when my hair, it does look a little bit dressed up. So this is my favorite hairstyle. Very simple, very casual, and I do it uh, even some days when I'm not doing anything. Um, I just like to play with my hair. And it's a very easy way to make your hair look effortlessly. Um, the effort makes your hair look effortlessly beautiful. All right, the next question to ask them about their selfie, and this is my favorite selfie of 2020. Um, it was in July when I first cut my bangs, and I just really like it. It's, there's an overall feeling of like warmth. There's also my bangs looked like really good. Um, so yeah, that's my favorite selfie. All right, the next question is asking them about favorite accessory. My favorite accessory of 2020 would have to be hands down my rings, especially these ones. So I bought these like really thin band rings at um, um, Hobby Lobby and they're just so they're so beautiful they're so dainty look at them like they're just so dainty uh, I bought there was like I think nine or so um, and they haven't changed colors until recently the ones I did was wearing a lot they did kind of change color but it took a while actually but these ones are they haven't changed color so I switched them out they're really cute. I want to go back to Hobby Lobby, you know, and buy more because they're just so cute. But yeah, these dainty rings are definitely my favorite of 2020. All right, the next question is favorite store. And my favorite store would have to be H Mart. It's 
I talk about it. It's HMR Saturday. Uh, we go every Saturday. Not today, though. But we went every Saturday for like the past several weeks. Um, or maybe it was several months too. Like we just keep going, especially now that like we have one really close by to us. We go there all the time, and to the point where I know the workers now. Like I know who the workers are. They probably think that we live in the neighborhood, but they don't probably know that we live like a few blocks, like a few miles away, like several miles away. Um, but yeah, H Mart has definitely become my favorite Ferris store. The next question is favorite online shopping mall or online shopping location. Um, and mine would have to be Amazon. I love shopping on there. I love looking at stuff. I love putting these on my list, buying stuff. I bought so many things on Amazon this year. The next question is asking about um, something we learned about ourselves this year. And I'll just name some things that I thought about as I was thinking about this question. The first thing is that I have a lot of knowledge. I have a lot of knowledge and I have a lot of experience. That's something that I think really honed in this year was like, give myself more credit than I just did not, no, nothing that I deserve. Give myself more credit than um, what I currently do right now. Because oftentimes I just self doubt myself so much. And sometimes I, again, I'm, I'm my own worst critic and I always downgrade everything that I do because one, like, I'm trying to be humble, but at the same time, when I do that, there's a, there's, a, there's a time and place when you have to be humble and when you also have to remind yourself that, you know what, don't discredit yourself because in a way, it comes off as if you're beating yourself up and sometimes that that's not what I'm trying to do. So one is like, you know, again, realizing that like I do, I have, I bring, I bring a lot with me and I, I, I have, yeah, I bring a lot with, I bring a lot with me and I have, I'm worthy, you know, and so that's something that uh, I really I am learning this year and I'm going to carry on to next year as well. The other thing that I think was really important for me to learn is just how maybe like how self aware I am, like how self how self aware and reflective and like my ability to want to learn and grow this year was very um, was very, I would say, paramount to me and who I am because there are so many moments this year where I had to really learn a lot of new things and and people were telling me too that like I just have a knack of wanting to learn and and wanting to um just a change because there's so many things that happened this year where if I didn't like something or I, didn't, I feel like I didn't want I didn't believe in that or I went against my morals like I I stood up and I did something about it and so I was just really proud that like I'm sticking to some values I have and it made me really proud because um, in some ways I want to I want to walk my talk and I feel like I've done that several times this year and I'm just really proud of myself. My favorite thing about my room, I would have to say my closet and my table. Those two things are, I love the way I moved my room around so just having like my, my table it's like it's spacious ish because I have lots of one there but it's I like the position of it I also love my closet a lot um, putting my dresser inside my closet just made me realize how much um, <clears throat> yeah it just made me realize how much I use my dresser for storage on the daily so having it put away limits that and the other thing too is that like I never really used the clothes in there <laughs> like hardly ever pull the clothes out so I just realized it was such a great decision to move my my dresser into the closet and it just gave me so much more room in my room and so I love it all right so the next question and the final question is what was my favorite vlogmas activity and I would have to say it was my birthday <laughs> um it was just it was really nice I feel like I had a really fun time I remember my birthday like just sitting down just feeling the love and yeah I just feel so appreciated I feel so loved and I feel so happy I feel so beautiful inside and out and so I would say my, yeah, my birthday was definitely a very memorable vlogmas activity we did just celebrating me um, and then the second thing I want to say, I like doing the ornament too, like the ornament as us three sisters, because we were kind of just on the ground. We were watching Klaus, no, Kla Kla Christmas Chronicles, and I was just blown away with the whole vibe. Like it just felt like, it just felt like such a strange thing that we were doing, and I thought it was, it was just really nice. 
I think it was also one of the first time that we all, as three, to get, like, all sisters, three, were doing something together. Um, so yeah, it was actually really, yeah. Overall, I, I really liked, yeah, I, I think this year's Vlogmas was also, like, really awesome. All right, everyone, that's basically it. That was my favorites of 2020. Of course, it's just some things of 20 that I was able to think about to add on here. Um, I'm gonna end the video right here. It's been pretty long and I hope you enjoyed, you know, learning more about my favorites. Um, just again, really appreciate everyone who has been tuning in for Vlogmas. We're gonna continue Vlogmas tomorrow. It's a Sunday. We are definitely gonna go to H Mart. And actually tomorrow, the Vlogmas activity is to look at Christmas lights. So, um, we do, you know, if we still do that, we'll do that too. But overall, I hope you had, uh, hope you had a really wonderful day. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all tomorrow.